here again at the 2014 Field Days, and with me now is Shane Dooley. Shane is the Group Product Manager for True Test. Welcome along, Shane. Thanks, Tony. You're an Irishman. Yes, I am, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Shane, how's the Field Days going? It's great. So yeah. we've had a couple of days of rain, um, but sun's out. But even with the rain, we've, we're on record numbers in terms of, of um, sales. That's not really what it's all about for us, but it's, yeah. um, it's, uh, it's really going well. Catch up with some old clients and maybe meet some new ones. Absolutely, yeah, that's, that's the key for us. Um, really, it's, it's about um, getting our name out there and meeting some new clients. Yeah. And, and like you say, touching base with, with um, guys come in, they've got our products, they want to um, see what's new, um, maybe catch up with um, sales reps who haven't touched base with them in a while, type of thing. So yeah, it's a great opportunity, great event. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Now speaking of something new, we've got the launch of the XR5000. Yes. And we just happen to have one here. Yeah. Here we are. So yeah, global, launch of, global launch of this product, it's um, a replacement for what has been the world's biggest selling um, animal waste scales. So, yeah, we've replaced it now with the XR5000. Um, for us, it's a, it's a pivotal product, um, key category. Uh, we think we've made a, a, an amazing amount of, of, of step changes in this product. Um, some of the big things are um, ease of use. Yeah. We've, we've really, really done a lot of work and listened to our customers in the last couple of years. Um, this thing's been in development now for, for um, in excess of two years. Yeah. Um, uh, things like ease of setup, um, ease of seeing, seeing the screen. We've we've done some some great um, work on on um, on getting a, a, a transmissive display, which is groundbreaking. Really, it uh, works in um, very well in broad daylight, but also in low light conditions, which is which is um, key to our, to our customers. They yeah. work in all conditions. Um, data capture. Um, we've made it really really easy. That's that's key as well. Um, it's, it's fair to say that a lot of the products on the market are, are hard to use for, yeah. for farmers. What would, what would be the biggest new feature from, from the model before? Uh, the display, I guess, and ease of use, really. Yeah. yeah. So um, we've, we've concentrated on both of those things, so, which is really how easy it is to see and how easy it is to use. That, that's, um, you put the cords in there, you can't walk yes. around with this thing. So it, you can walk around with it, and, and some of our users would. They'd use an um, electronic ID reader, a wand, and they'd, yeah. they'd hook it up to this and just walk around. But Typically, the use case is they'll have this mounted on the side of a crush or, or a, a drafter. Yeah. Um, they'll um, have some load bars, which is sensing the weight of the animal, and they'll have a RFID reader um, connected wirelessly to it. And it'll be, um, if it's a wand, they'll be walking up the race and, and reading, reading animals and weighing them with this, entering some data like treatments, um, um, controlling a drafter, that type of thing. Yeah. Uh, or it'll just let it let it do it automatically and, and let, let the, the, the waste scales just do all that for them. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, you guys are making it too easy. Well, we're trying. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. farmers really don't want to be fiddling with technology. They want it to do the work for them. Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's the key message. Now, Milk Hub, can you explain to me a bit about Milk Hub? Yeah. So, um, True Test acquired Milk Hub um, a couple of years ago. Um, it really was um, back to our roots where we're. We basically started as a as a dairy company with, with um, the first um, milk meter in the in the 60s. Yeah. We, we've worked hard in the last couple of years to raise the profile, tweak the products, um, and, and really just um, um, try to grow that business. It's it's and it's been a, a great success for us. Yeah. Um, dairy automation is obviously um, a key part of growing the dairy industry in New Zealand. Um, farmers, as we can see as we walk around here. Yeah. 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 And look, you, you can really just tell. Um, um, by the amount of um, companies that are that are addressing the issues that dairy farmers have, um, that that's that's what we're doing, um, and it, it's it's been great. It's it's um, the dairy industry presents its challenges for you know it's it's it's, a, it's relatively um, new types of challenges for us, but our core technologies have, have a great part to play in this, and the things we brought on with Milk Hub really really help. So yeah. some of our, our developments like our, our auto drafters, our um, our new herringbone. Um, um, yeah, okay, that's, uh, that's going to sort of revolutionise the, the, the hearing bones a bit. Uh, absolutely. Tell so, us about that. So in the EID for herringbone, um, so traditionally we see a lot of the automation um, directed towards um, rotary sheds. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the key thing to remember is um, we were at around 12,000 dairy farms in New Zealand, in excess of 8,000 of those are herringbones. So you know, th there's a lot of scope for, for helping these guys um, yeah. help them grow. Um, and so the InBail EID really is a way of bringing all that automation to a herringbone. So we've, we've um, basically we're running a RFID antenna over the heads of, of both sides of the um, the shed. Yeah. Um, so that the, the cow, we're reading the cows, the position, presenting that to um, the, the farmers on a display. Um, it's 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 going to change the, the game basically. Yeah. Um, for us and for our farmers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're working in closely with CRV, and that's going to be. Helpful right. for the farmers and save time there. Yeah, so we've um, we've 
we've now got direct access to the National Dairy Database and um, with the help of CRV, we've got a partnership yeah. with CRV, we're um, calling it My Hub Connect. Really what it's doing is saving farmers uh, entering data twice. So yeah. entering it um, uh, on um, CRV Insight to, to, um, to move data to the database and then entering it in My Hub, our, our software, to enable them to manage their herd in the shed. So yeah. really bringing that right back to entering it once, we're syncing with the, da the National Dairy Database, which farmers are obliged to do anyway. Yeah. And just, just you know, nobody wants to type stuff into computers anyway, and they certainly don't want to do it twice. No. <laughs> now the world market and, and uh, getting out to some new countries there yeah. with, with the gear. Yeah, so um, uh, we were traditionally an exporter. 60% um, of our sales are, are overseas. Um, We've, we've got subsidiaries in the US, Latin America, um, Australia obviously, yeah. um, so Latin America in particular is a key area of focus and growth for us now, with a subsidiary in Brazil, yeah. um, but in dry, traditionally it's, it's our dry stock products, so, so fencing, um, weighing and RFID, and, and now with, with dairy automation we're looking to, to take that to the world as well, so um, it's, it's a key part of our growth strategy, uh, and, and um, there's, there's a whole lot of room for, for growth. Yeah. Um, now what about sending some back to Ireland? Absolutely. Look, um, um, with the changes in, in Europe uh, in the dairy industry, uh, Ireland's going to be a key growth area. They're predicting 50% growth by 2020, which is six years. Yeah. So that's incredible, and, and that's um, you know Europe in general is is, is not going to be a, a massive growth area, but Ireland stands out among that. So we absolutely are, are going to begin to target Ireland. With, we we traditionally do sell products in there, but in the dairy industry, that's going to be a, an area of focus as well. That'd be great. Yeah, absolutely. I might get a little bit. Home a little bit more often with, yeah. with work. Yeah, 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 for sure. Pitch or tripping. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And thank you very much for coming in, Shane. Oh, you're really welcome. Tony.